living within means. Huge thing I learned long, long, long time ago. I was 19 years old. I started to have some very mediocre success. Oh, mediocre. But I thought it was success and the Matrix Reloaded came out and then there was a car called the Cadillac Escalade EXT and I said, I'm gonna buy that and then I bought it. I had a good old credit because I didn't screw it up because I was young, I made some money. And guess what? That car had to get repoed. And then guess what? That new body of the Cadillac Escalade EXC came out again and I bought it again. Not living within my means and guess what? I had to let that one go. And then I got a Porsche and then I had let that go. Then I bought this lounge over here in Las Vegas and guess what? I had to let that go because I had this overzealous, huge thinking that I could do it. You over eager son of a- And I believe that I could because I had that self-confidence. How do I know you can deliver? You don't, but I can. But I wasn't willing to live within my means. I wasn't understanding, you know what? You don't need this car. You'll feel cool, you'll look cool, at least I thought I did. People will look up to you because you have a nice car, but the car didn't make me any money. It was probably one of the dumbest decisions I ever made. He's a success, Batman Uber driver. So you gotta live within your means. Do I wish I had one wish that I could have gone back in time? Back in time and told myself it won't do you anything to get this stuff except for get you in financial devastation and you're gonna stress out even more? Absolutely. But we can't go back in the past. Thomas, me, I'll be back in time. So do I regret it? I don't because as I always say, I'd rather regret the things I do than the things I don't do. Do you want to take a leap of faith or become an old man filled with regret waiting to die alone? But it is good advice and I'll tell you guys, you gotta learn to live within your means. That nice car or these wonderful things that you think might do something for you, most of the time, it's just that we're not feeding our stomach, we're just feeding our ego. I get a big ego. Our ego tells us that we deserve it and we get it. And we get it. My ego is my imaginary friend. And we shouldn't have got it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it on social media, thumbs up, subscribe. And I'll see everybody tomorrow.